Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Zarka Latif from ADC Midbusters and today I'm here with the topic shade selection in dentistry uh, because we can see that some of the questions have been asked in paper 2 regarding shade selection. So we wanted to have a detailed um, explanation regarding this topic because this is a really confusing topic for everyone. Now before we go into the details of shade selection, uh, let us first know some basic points like how do we see color? Now, how do we uh, perceive color of a particular object? Now, what happens whenever light falls on a particular thing? It's, it starts absorbing some amount of light and it starts reflecting some part of that light. Now, the light which is reflected back is taken up by our eyes and that is how we perceive the color of that object. Like if the light falls on a blue object, it's going to absorb all the lights and is going to reflect only those rays which correspond to blue wavelengths. So that is how we perceive it as blue color and same is true for red, yellow, orange and so on. Similarly, when light falls on a white object, it reflects most of the light that comes to it. And that is why we perceive the color of that object very similar to the light that has fallen on it, which is white. Uh, now, in case of black colored objects, what happens is whenever light falls on a black colored object, it absorbs most of the light. And because of that, the object appears darker because th there is very little reflection and there is very little amount of light that is coming to our eyes. And that is why we see that object as dark. So this is how we perceive color in general. Now how do we measure color? Like we measure any other entity, we also measure color. So we do have some units to measure color and we call that as hue, chroma and value. Now what do we mean by hue? Hue is a very simple term. It is just the type of the color that we see. It can be red, blue, yellow, orange, anything. So hue is the basic type of that color. Coming to the next topic, which is chroma and value, most confusing. So talking about chroma, chroma is how intense that particular shade is like how intense that particular hue is. I'll explain it with the help of an example. You consider you are having 10 glasses of water and in glass 1, you pour one drop of blue color. In glass 2, you pour two drops of blue color and in 3, you pour three drops and so on up to glass 10 where you are pouring 10 drops of blue color. Now, if you see from glass 1 to glass 10, the intensity of color will increase. You will see a, a range of shades of blue color. So those range of shades of blue color is what we call as chroma of that particular hue. So hue is the blue color and in blue color we are having 10 different intensities. So those 10 different intensities are called as chroma. Now coming to value, value is the degree of lightness or darkness of that color. So value, how do we, how do we understand value? Again with the help of an example. So consider again you are having 10 glasses of water and in each glass you are pouring one drop of blue color, right? So now the chroma of each of these glasses is same, the intensity is same. Now what you do is, in glass 1, you are pouring one drop of grey colour. In glass 2, you are pouring two drops of grey colour. And in 3, you are pouring three and so on up to glass 10, where you are pouring 10 drops of grey colour. So now what you see is a range of different colours, right? Starting from uh, glass 1, it will be less darker as compared to 2, 2 will be less darker as compared to 3 and so on. So out of all, glass number 10 will be the darkest and it will have least value and glass number 1 will be the lightest, it will have most value. 
okay so as the darkness increases value goes on decreasing and as the intensity of color increases chroma grows on increasing okay so that is how value and chroma is related now if you have a particular object and you are asked to increase the shade of that color so by increasing the shade of that color the chroma will increase and the value will decrease so that is how chroma and value are related they are inversely related to each other so this is also asked in one of the options so i made it clear here then coming to the munsell's um, color coding system it is the same thing which i discussed right now so you can see the wedges the wedges represent the hues then after the uh, wedges you see in each wedge you have certain slices so those slices represent the increase in the intensity of that particular hue so it represents the chroma now in the center you see a longitudinal section which increases in its darkness as we go from top to bottom so that rod represents the value so this is how you define hue chroma and value of a particular object now how do we apply it in dentistry so here i have um taken a picture of a shade guide the vita shade guide you can see that here uh, you see different colored uh, artificial teeth as you can see in the bottom they are named as a1 a2 a3 a4 and then you have b1 b2 b3 b4 and so on so the group of teeth from 1 to 5 represent a particular shade which is red yellow and hence they are named as a then the b family represents the yellow color the c the c family represents the gray color and the d family represents a mixture of gray red and yellow now if you see the first tooth it is the lightest but as you go on moving towards the fifth tooth in that group you can see that the intensity of red yellow shade has increased so from the first tooth up to the fifth tooth the chroma has increased though the basic color is same but the intensity of that color is increasing so a represents the basic color which is the hue and the numerical value that is a1 or a2 or 3 so this 1 2 3 represents the degree of saturation of that color which is the chroma similarly you see in the next um, group which is the yellow group you see the first tooth is the lightest and then as you move towards the fourth tooth it becomes darker the the level of uh, the intensity of the color has increased okay of the yellow color and same is true for the gray um, group you can see the first tooth is the lightest and as you go towards the fourth tooth the shade gets darker in gray color and same is true for the last one also so this is how your vita shade guide looks like and this is how you read your readings on a vita shade guide so this was about uh, the color coding scheme uh, which we use in dentistry and how we apply it in dentistry i hope this video was helpful for you in understanding hue value and chroma which is always very confusing So if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and to subscribe to our channel thank you